This is the main road through Omningalar. Whether you can use it depends on who you are. Foreigners need a permit, Buddhists are waved through, and the Muslim Rohingya who live here are blocked. The authorities say it's to protect the Muslims from the Buddhists outside, but the barbed wire, checkpoints and hostile neighbours have turned Ong Mingala into Myanmar's biggest prison. Two years ago, Mong Ni was a successful tailor, running a shop in a Buddhist area. During the sectarian violence of 2012, his business was destroyed, and he now sews on a friend's machine. He tells me he fled to avoid being hacked to death by a Buddhist mob. Like most of the 4,000 Muslims in Ong Mingala, he's struggling to make ends meet and has sold most of his belongings to buy food for his family. My bike, my rickshaw, there's not much left for me to sell, he says. We're all becoming thin through lack of food. Twice a week, the community here pays the police for a security escort, and a small group is allowed to go to market to buy much-needed supplies. The life is slowly being squeezed out of this Muslim community. There's already no place for them to go to find work. And now, after the government kicked out the medical aid agency Médecins Sans Frontières, there's no place for them to go to get any treatment either. These were the scenes last week as Buddhist groups demonstrated outside MSF's Sitway office. The charity was one of the biggest aid agencies working here, but was accused of siding with the Rohingya community. If MSF were just doing their job, they wouldn't have to leave. But they kept getting the wrong information about these Bengalis or Rohingya and giving it out to the international community. They have inflamed the conflict here. In Ong Mingala, this is what it all means. A sick baby and her even sicker mother, unable to leave her bed. A father at his wit's end, trapped and powerless as his family's health fades. I can't do anything as there's no doctor here, he tells me. I spend all my time thinking about how I can get them to some care. Titway's segregation has brought the town a degree of stability, but the events of the last two weeks are a reminder of how raw and unreconciled the divisions here still are. As is so often the case, it's the weak and the vulnerable who will suffer the most. Jonah Fisher, BBC News, Ong Mingala, Rakhine State.